I had a very normal, healthy pregnancy, and um, the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital and was on life support. Days later, Ashley woke up, her body weak due to a condition responsible for as many as one in 10 deaths in a mom after delivery. Somehow, amniotic fluid got into Ashley's bloodstream, causing what's called an AFE. Yeah, Ashley had an amniotic fluid embolism, and that set off a cytokine response, a big inflammatory response in her body, and she went into biventricular failure. So both sides of her heart failed. She had severe lung failure as well, and then multi-system organ failure, and required ECMO support. ECMO uses this machine. It stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Dr. Catherine O'Keefe and Dr. Doug Adams were part of Ashley's critical care team. They opened her chest and connected her to the ECMO. ECMO supports the heart and lungs in a situation where the body can't do that any longer, and that was the situation. The heart and lungs were failing uh, due to the process that had gone in the, in the course of the birth. Remarkably, Ashley's OBGYN, Dr. Lindsay Crawford, said the ECMO provided enough supportive care that Ashley's body began to heal on its own. It is ensuring that you give the body time to recover from that huge cytokine response that occurs to allow the lungs and the heart to take a break. Ashley's husband, Alex, says seeing Parker healthy and Ashley come back to good health is like a double miracle in his life. Definitely uh, two miracles. It's a blessing to have both of them. And to the team that recognized the AFE and acted immediately, Ashley and her family could not be more grateful. I wanted to be a mom so bad, so I was really excited that I got to be here to be a wife mm -hmm. and a mom. Now, Ashley's team says even though this is a rare event, it's always okay to ask where you are delivering, what's available, should you need this kind of critical care? But also, they say, make sure you tell a team member right away if something doesn't feel quite right. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.